So when I reviewed FunKey S console, I actually thought that's going to be the tiniest game console, portable console that you could ever uh, carry because it's actually a key ring decoration purpose as well because it's so tiny. But I stand correct today, people. This is a so-called Thumby that what we have here and it's really tiny. I mean, the package itself is even tinier than the uh, matchbox, if you see what I mean. And um, I was actually truly amazed, but it also comes along with the um, business card message actually. So it comes with a QR code and it says, thank you for supporting Thumb Beyond Kickstarters because this is what I uh, backed on Kickstarter. Say so they delivered it on time, so well done. And also a letter as well saying, dear, whoever you are, thank you for supporting the Tiny Circuits Thumbby Kickstarters to get started with your Thumbby, including how to create your own game. So you can actually create your own games actually uh, by visiting their website, which is H well the thumbby.us. And if you have any issues with your order, please contact and you got the uh, email address as well. So this is going to be exciting people. Let's see how tiny and how far we could go with such a uh, tiny device. So let's get into the unboxing. Here it goes. So for the moment of truth, here it goes. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, that reminds me of the Nintendo console. Same color, same theme. Um, so that is really tiny. <laughs> and then we got the rainbow decoration. But once we open it up inside there, is there anything else? Nope. I was expecting a USB cable but that's not there but if we put this aside it's a micro usb cable that you need to charge and also connect to your pc i presume you could download some more games and that's the on and off uh, switch and the tiny screen and yes you can literally press all the buttons so let's turn it on uh, i don't know whether you can see that <laughs> let's zoom that in right in Come on, zoom. Okay, so let's start by scrolling uh, up and down. So we got these sort of games here. Um, and uh, let's try one of them out, shall we? So this is called the, I can't even read it. Anlid. Okay, so A or B to start. So, oh, game over. Okay, so how am I supposed to do this one? What am I supposed to do this? Okay, but it's a game. <laughs> um, so there's three times and you're out. So let's try the next one, which is the cell run. Okay. Okay, so it's tiny so run A. Let's press it. Oh, you can actually hear the sound as well. Where's the sound coming from? Actually, let's just, just take it out and um, I can't see any sound um, holes or anywhere at the source, but um, okay. Let's just put this back on. And um, let's try some other game as well. So that's basically, uh, you gotta jump and avoid all the obstacles. Uh, which is the uh, sound run and this is what is a space debris Okay, let's to click on this one. So you gotta Fly around and I think you could blast some Okay, so that's what it's for. So I think this is basically showing you the directions of where you should move You can press and um, move it on. Yes, indeed. So Oh, I see. So that's how you find your enemies and you... That's cool, actually, I have to say. So um, let's try the other games. So it's a space debris that we just tried. Um, the next one is Thumb... Thumbium, is it? Oh, gosh, I can't even read it. Okay. It's so tiny. <laughs> So I think you got to select something and then move it around. Um, so is it something like a mahjong kind of thing? 
Right, okay, let's get out of this one as, as well. How do you get out of this game if you're, if you're not happy with it? Um, I think you just have to restart. Okay, and I think we got the last game, which is the um, tiny blocks. Let's try the tiny blocks to start. Uh, so this is basically Tetris. Yeah, so if you want to have a quick Tetris, that's what you can do for this one. So that's perfect. <laughs> I love this Tetris. You, can, you never get bored with Tetris. So these are the games that is actually available. So let's actually check out their website, shall we? So we're on the um, Thumbby website.us and um, I can see that you can actually follow the social media newsletter and you can actually chat with them on Discord. That's very good. And um, uh, text specification to explain. So that didn't actually come with the actual box, but now you can you, you can see all the specs here. Uh, so this is something that I'm actually dragging on to, uh, dragging my attention to actually. So this is the getting started tutorial. So if we click on this, if you scroll down, I think um, basically you need a uh, micro USB and a thumb So I got that actually connected to my uh, PC now and you got to use the Thumbby IDE. So it's like some sort of like a software that you need to open up and then program it. So Obviously, I'm not a programmer So I won't be able to show how to program it on this video But um, I'm sure you can actually find that yourself when you actually go to the uh, Thumbby.us uh, website and then um, these are all the instructions and um, basically I think you can create your own game um, with coding and so on. So this is really for those gaming experts or coding experts, uh, software engineers and so on, which is completely not my game, but just to give you a feel of what's going on here. And I think you can also download and play some games as well, which is very good. So download and play games from Thumbby Arcade and um, material you, you need to get you need to get a Thumbby game and a GitHub account. So these are the requirements that I'm not really familiar with, but I'm sure all your youngsters or programmers out there know exactly what's happening here. But if you scroll down, someone actually can play Pokemon as well. So that's really good. I think that those images pretty much sums up made by all these YouTubers. So that's really impressive. And um, you could actually, you also could download the uh, Thumbby Beta IDE software that we talked, uh, Web IDE, and um, that's how tiny it is. That's just amazing. I mean, obviously, I have it with me now as well. Um, and lastly, you can also submit your game in a, in the public space as well. So some other people as well can play the joy of what you created for for the community as well. So it seems that they got a very strong community indeed so well done for this whole concept i think overall it's it's beyond what you can see from the hardware the software si size seems to be really impressive with the community backing and and so on and um, i think it's just one of those things that if you're familiar with this is something that you will really enjoy so well done thumbby for producing such a great product with ideas and communities and etc. So the Thumbby is more than meets the eyes actually because I actually thought you would never be able to play a game. I actually did not expect that you'd be able to press button but clearly from this video you can see that I actually played a few games but they were pretty basics actually but now scrolling through their um, actual website someone could play Pokemon and um, all other sort of like games and you can actually create your own games as well by using the web uh, software and so on and um, if you're a programmer gamer again I think you're going to really enjoy this product and um, man the size of this console is so tiny but yet you can read the text actually I did complain early on it was because my I got a camera right in front of me and I had to sort of stretch and read it but if you actually as you know focus really focus with your eyes and read it yes you can um, distinguish all the letters because I got a pretty good size but if you are if you have a really terrible sort of eyesight I don't think you're gonna enjoy this one but it's just the joy of seeing such a tiny console 
um, but also the strength of the community and the GitHub and social media and like you can download software that you can even play Pokemon as well. Some other YouTubers seem to already review that. But um, this video is purely for the first impression side of the Thumbby. And I hope this sort of helps you understand. But if you are more of the sort of like, if you want to go in more depth and if you have the capacity and the knowledge for it, please do uh, join the community uh, for the Thumbby and enjoy your games or what you enjoy. And um, yeah, it's playable um, again, and it's extremely tiny. Again, I would like to declare, I cannot see any tinier game than a game console than the Thumbby itself, but we shall see in the future whether we're gonna see another tinier version. But so far, I would like to declare, this is indeed the tiniest uh, gaming console that I have ever seen uh, on top of the Funky S. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.